Sex therapists say there are 10 ways to get an orgasm that you haven't thought of. If you ask me, it's been hundreds of years too late. But our culture is finally starting to accept the female orgasm and recognize, gasp, that women also want, need, and feel pleasure. Scientists are looking into what causes female orgasms, women are singing about feeling themselves. And no one would bat an eye if Sally pulled her orgasm in public performance in 2020. Well, maybe they would, but you get the point. All of this is great progress toward long overdue gender equality, but all this o talk can make women feel like they have to have an orgasm. Even if they've never had one, can only have one by themselves, or only know one way to have one, news flash, there are lots of ways. So, sex therapists and experts have come up with 10 ways to orgasm that you might not have thought of. This is for the betterment of your sex life and because you deserve to be happy. 1. Do other things to take care of yourself. Megan White, who is a certified clinical sexologist and the director of education at Satisfier, suggested dry brushing and scalp massage as ways to increase sexuality and pleasure. White said, dry brushing is a great way to get blood moving and clean the skin. You'll feel refreshed, and your tissues will feel soft and full. It's a great way to take care of yourself and can be a sensual way to start or end your day. In the same way, putting essential oils on your scalp at home can help you relax and wake up your senses. You'll feel refreshed, energized, and sexier. The bottom line is to find indulgent activities that connect your mind and body and make you feel good. You'll be more aware, which can make you feel more sexual pleasure. You'll also be able to look at your bad self in the mirror which is a bonus. 2. Explore blended orgasms. Here's the good news, you can have orgasms anywhere, from your clitoral area to your nipple. And it's even better that they don't have to be separate from each other. A blended orgasm is when two or more orgasms happen at the same time, causing a strong, full body response. Even though this might sound hard, and you might be thinking, great, more pressure for the climax. Remember that our bodies are made to feel many different things. Dr. Jess O'Reilly, founder of Sex with Dr. Jess and Astroglide's resident sexologist, said, If you stimulate more than one area, you create stronger sensations, and more than one nerve sends the message of pleasure at the same time. For example, it is thought that the vagus nerve sends signals from the cervix, uterus, and vagina without going through the spinal cord. I know right? In the end, your sexuality is more than just your vagina. Explore, try new things, and enjoy a lot of different things at once. 3. Get your ideas flowing. Yes, that pottery class you took in college might have made it more likely for you to have an orgasm. Artistic expression and sexual energy don't cancel each other out, White said. Creativity will naturally stir up your sexual nature and encourage you to think outside the box and try new things. Your favorite form of creativity doesn't have to be erotic to make you feel more pleasure when it comes to sex. You can tap into your sexual energy by being creative in any way that makes you feel free and happy. Being creative will also put you in a creative, open frame of mind that will make you more likely to try new things, see number 6 below. You can tell your partner that we told you to sign up for that painting class or dance lesson, and I'm sure they'll want to join too when they find out the benefits. 4. Discuss sex. Looks like salt and pepper were onto something. Camille Lewis, an AMFT, thinks that talking about sex outside of the bedroom can help people have healthy sexual lives. Lewis said, Talking about sex with friends is a great way to make sex seem normal and gives you a place to ask questions and hear about other people's experiences. The more comfortable you are talking about sex, the more confident you will feel when it's time to do it. Yes, it is important to have a support system outside of your relationship or sexual partner, sex and the city style. To talk openly about sex and normalize a lot of topics that have been taboo for far too long. But it's just as important to talk to your sexual partner openly and honestly, whether you're in a serious relationship or not. 
allow yourself to talk about orgasms with your partner or partners, Lewis said. If you want to change this in your relationship, you should talk about it. 5. Make yourself more sensual outside of the bedroom. Sexuality is a mix of both the body and the mind. It won't turn on as soon as you walk into the bedroom, and it's not just for the bedroom. Clinical sexologist and sensuality expert Hani Avidal said it best in an interview with S Life magazine, sexuality is our life force. We will feel more alive the more we use that energy in everything we do. Remember that your sexuality is powerful and gives you life, not something to be ashamed of. Make your everyday life more sensual by doing things that make you feel good, like massaging your body with oil after you shower or taking a luxurious bath. And by making decisions based on what would make you feel better. This will not only make you feel more alive in your everyday life, but it may also make you feel better in the bedroom. Lewis suggested taking mindful moments throughout the day, like noticing the temperature of the water in your shower or the smell of your food. To feel more connected to your body and improve your sexual connection. Dr. O'Reilly was on board. You're not an on slash off switch. She said. You probably can't go from talking about your kids and taxes to sexual pleasure and orgasm. Take time out of your day to do things that make you happy. This will help you be more present in your body and remind you that happiness is your birthright. 6. Try something new. If you're not getting to the climax, it could be that what you're doing isn't working. Even if you are orgasming but are afraid to try something new, you might be missing out on a climax that is even more intense and fun. Dr. O'Reilly suggested getting creative with sex toys and lube, both of which can make you feel more pleasure and make you orgasm. The sex therapist at Enjoy, Mia Sabat, agreed that it's important to try new things. Sabat said, you don't know what will get you going until you try it. Sometimes we forget that our bodies are more than just our vulva, and we're surprised by how much a certain place or type of stimulation can help us reach our orgasm end goal. In short, try new things, whether it's positions, toys, body parts, or even the routine, for fun and to get to know your body better. If you have an orgasm, that will just be a nice bonus. 7. Make masturbation part of the way you take care of yourself. You already know that masturbation can help you have an orgasm, but if you only think of the ménage en moi as a must-do when you're between partners. It might be hard to get to climax, thank you, quarantine. Exploring your sexuality and pleasure should be as much a part of your self-care routine as putting on a face mask or taking a bubble bath. Which, by the way, you can do at the same time. Stop thinking of masturbation as something shameful. It's a healthy thing to do, and there are many health benefits. Sabat said, it can be used to relieve pain, improve your mood, and even help with period cramps. If you think of masturbation as a way to take care of yourself, you can explore your body in a way that doesn't make you feel embarrassed. 8. Fantasize Dr. O'Reilly is right when he says that the brain is the most powerful sex organ. Don't you remember that sexuality involves both the body and the mind? Even if the physical part is stimulated, the mental part also needs to be stimulated for mind-blowing pleasure. If you don't get caught up in getting an orgasm and the dreaded performance anxiety, fantasizing can help you explore your sexuality and find new ways to feel pleasure. We're lucky that there are more ways to daydream than picturing Ryan Gosling without a shirt on. Or watching Rihanna's Pour It Up music video, though both are great if they work for you. There are many ways to stimulate the brain, like listening to erotica or watching pornography made for women. Or just taking the time to ease your mind and body into a sexual state with sensual massages, candlelit baths, or self-pleasure, Sabat said. 9. Don't make too much of the ending. So, let's get back to that pressure of sex. Yes, there is a big orgasm gap, and yes, you have every right to orgasm as often as you want. But we talk about the climax so much, it's even called the climax, that many women find it hard to get there because they feel like they have to. 
we look at our ability to orgasm to decide if it was good sex or if we're normal. Here's the truth, it's good sex if it felt good, and anything is normal if it's normal for you. Instead of thinking about the result, think about how good it feels before and during sex. It will be more enjoyable overall, and you might even orgasm more often. The place you're going to is better when you have fun getting there, right? Gigi Engel, a certified sexologist and award-winning author, said that instead of trying to get an orgasm, it's better to put it off. She said, Slowly get closer and closer, but don't go all the way to the edge. When you get excited and then let it go, the energy is recycled and just below the surface, waiting to be lit up again. If you keep building up to the end, it will be unbelievable. 10. Enjoy yourself. No, this isn't some cheesy self-love advice. It's the best way to increase pleasure, sensuality, and orgasms, whether you're alone or with a partner. When we take the time to make ourselves feel special, like we would for a romantic partner, we feel more confident, more at ease, and just hotter. To quote my queen Lizzo, no, I'm not a snack at all. Look, baby, I'm the whole damn meal. Lizzo knows how to romance herself. We can all afford to be a little more romantic with ourselves, even if we aren't in a relationship. Sabat said, just because you're traveling alone doesn't mean you have to skip romance. Don't be afraid to set the mood by lighting candles, putting on perfume, and turning down the lights. This is your adventure, so take your time and enjoy it. Don't be in a hurry or undervalue yourself. This is about treating yourself the way you want to be treated, and you deserve the best. Excuse me while I feel myself, as Lizzo would say.